Hey, so I went through a tutorial that was nicely provided by Tales from the Crypt, and that totally worked. And so now I have a beautiful, wonderful graphene OS phone. Um, and so there's what it looks like uh, after a fresh install. And you might notice that there's very few apps on this phone. Now, um, I was able to use a tool that came with the Pixel 3a that I just bought. Uh, there was this card that came with the Pixel 3a, and in that card is this little metal tool. And uh, this little metal tool um, allows you to poke into the, the, the hole. Now, my old phone on the very top, you can see where there is a, a, a little hole, and it's around this uh, this kind of thing, this thing sitting there. So um, if you if I push really hard into this, I'll get I get uh, that um, out. And um, what I found was that right here was the SIM card, and the SIM card has a uh, a corner missing. And so on the new phone, uh, the Pixel 3a. On the side, there is uh, pretty much the same thing. Let's, let's see, where is it? It's right here. And so you can see it right there. Okay? And it uses the same tool. And um, <clears throat> the thing that came out was a little bit smaller. And I just put the SIM card there, put it in the right orientation with that corner missing. And, um, and now my phone works. And you might have heard my new phone make a noise just a little bit earlier and that was actually me receiving a text so <laughs> it works yay uh, <laughs> look a little dot next to the message uh, thing now uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that you notice how there's very few apps on here and so um, and that's just one thing about this graphene OS on a fresh fresh install of graphene OS um, there's very few apps and um, uh, so in the next few days, what I expect to do is uh, get F-Droid installed and also an a, um, open source version of kind of Google Play Store. Um, now, F-Droid is a, kind of, it, it allows you to download open source apps. And so um, they should be well suited for a, a phone like this that's uh, running the Graphene operating system. But... Um, in Google Play, um, <clears throat> there's a version of Google Play that I'm going to put on here. It's like Aurora Market or something, and um, and when I I do that, um, there's uh, some difficulties. I, I expect the one difficulty is I, I'm not I don't expect that I'll be able to install uh, apps that require a, a, a fee because I'm not quite sure how to pay Google without Google, and um, I don't. I also. Uh, <clears throat> I also think that that uh, after I install an app, uh, there there might be a little bit of problems with that because um, there are no Google Play services. So if the app is using a, a Google push notification, um, that won't go through on this phone. So uh, anyway, but I just got a notification for a text, so that works. And um, and so uh, there's going to be some setting up I need to do on my new phone. So uh, so uh, expect to um, see a post about this on my blog and um, what I'm going to do is uh, put a post up with the Tales from the Crypt tutorial that uh, is um, that, I, that worked so well. It worked so well I don't think there's any reason to make a new tutorial but then I'm going to write up in text what I did to verify the signature of um, of this Graphene OS uh, file that you download right from Graphene's website. If, when I followed their instructions, I, I ran into trouble, and so I had to actually use a program called uh, Signify-OpenBSD, and when I used that program, it, it, it worked. So, uh, so, th so that's uh, verifying the signature, and then uh, Tales from the Crypt um, in that 
tutorial they glossed over verifying the signature. That's that's something I wanted to focus on in my blog. So we're we're definitely going to verify the signature. Uh, it was weird because it wasn't a PGP uh, key that I'm used to. So that that threw me through a loop a little bit. But anyway, I figured it out. Well, I'll write it up for you. And then um, and then uh, what also wasn't done in the tutorial was switching out the. Uh, SIM card, but we talked about that. So that's that's really good. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, um, so an open source thing is uh, is there. You have an open source alternative if you're interested. Um, I I think this phone. My understanding is it's pretty private in the sense that if I take a picture, then that picture's mine. Um, if I never share it with anybody, I don't think that picture's ever. Uh, available to Google or any type of um, company, even the phone company. Um, now, anything you share off of this device um, most likely is going to be uh, up for grabs. I mean, every phone call you make, every SMS message you send uh, will be uh, monitored by the phone company, and uh, they can keep those, and they, they keep them there. Um, but um, but what what the good part is that um, you can get sec third party apps that uh, might do end to end encryption, and if you do that, then uh, then you can have uh, private conversations. You can send information between devices uh, uh, privately. So um, anyway, so uh, Graphene OS, it's here. It works. Um, uh, you got to be careful not to break your phone, but as long as you follow the directions, um, it, I mean, it, sometimes it things happen that people don't understand why. But I followed the indirect directions, and they worked. So, um, so there you go. Thank you.